tic-tac-toe from Nifty Access. Shown here in the red rectangle is the tic-tac-toe grid and you can see the cells in the grid are numbered 11, 12, 13, 21, 22, 23 and 31, 32, 33. Now you might think that's odd numbering but actually it's it means the the one in the 11 the the first one represents the row so you've got row one column one row one column two row one column three and then you've got row two column one uh, two and three like that now by numbering them like this you can do this as you can see the rows begin with one two or three so now you can easily identify which row an image control belongs to. So all you need to do is iterate through the name of the image control. Is it designated as a column or a row? In this case, you could look at row one and then row two and then row three. And you would say, is the image the same in each one? And if it's yes, then there's a win. And then the same goes for the columns. But in this case, the columns are one. So you've got row one, column one, row two, column one, like that. Now, this is when it gets really interesting. You can identify the diagonals by adding the numbers together. So uh, one, three gives you four, two, two gives you four, and three, one gives you four. So that's that diagonal. And the other diagonal, you get that by taking away. So if you take away, we go up here, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0. So that then gives you the diagonal. So with this setup, having the row and column information contained in the image controls name, you can go through it with some code and identify if a row is full or a column is full or a diagonal is full. So that's the next step in developing this uh, tic-tac-toe game.